one, it is Lizzie and <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and Tom with Miss Eloise back with a video finally after um, five six. Uh, a long time. October fifteenth was our last video. That was our last video, so... and that was a long time ago. Yeah. As you can see, we're not in front of our table with a hall today. 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 So soon. I yes. Promise. Um, we thought we'd do a video. We get asked all the time how our business started and when where we've been the last few months, I guess. But what better day to do it than our three, three year, year anniversary? Hooray! Business anniversary. Business anniversary. Yes. It's almost our ten year anniversary. I know. We've almost oh been goodness. together ten years. And you Forever. still tolerate me. Anyway, <laughs> so we decided to do it Star Wars style and start sort of in the middle of our story, sort of the end of our story. No, there is no, we have not reached the end there of is our no story yet. yet. But, um, yeah, yeah, I guess we'll start with October 16th, since that's sort of where we left off. Um, I had a surgery on October 16th for a pleomorphic adenoma, which makes me sound really smart when I say that. But <laughs> you are really smart. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, it was really a tumor that was in my parotid gland and um, invaded some of the nerves in my face. I previously had that surgery in 2008. Yes. Seven years prior. Seven Almost years to ago. The day. And um, yeah, in the summer I noticed a few new bumps on the side of my face and it turns out it's back, yay! Except for not, but um, so it was October 16th, we woke up bright and early. I had my surgery. It ended up lasting seven hours, se seven ish hours. Um, it ended up being a lot more complicated than they originally. They called for three hours of surgery that day. They yeah. had to book four extra hours. <laughs> they did. So um, yeah, it had pretty much invaded the entire left side of my face. And yeah, that was sort of the start of our new normal for the past five months or so. Um, during the sur surgery, there was a lot of nerve damage, so I woke up and I could not feel the entire left side of my face or move it or... Yeah, and that lasted kind of a really... Oh, as usual, our cats are fighting. Um, pretty long time, and so we had a lot of family out to help. I ended up getting 14 staples in the side of my face. A really awesome scar now, which is cool, but... Um, well, I guess uh, November 16th. November 16th. Well, for one, it's our, it was our daughter's sixth birthday. Right. And two, um, I started radiation on November 16th because it turns out the cells that they removed were precancerous. So um, I had, um, yeah, I had uh, radiation every morning until December 31st. And uh, that was a pretty long, pretty long road. For one, it was fourth quarter in our business. And that's really tough to be... Yeah, yeah. Out of it, <laughs> I was pretty much not working for three months, and so I pretty much uh, <laughs> shouldered the business and played nurse and mom and dad, and and we had a ton of family to help. We had too, tons which of family, great. and without so... that we wouldn't have uh, uh, survived it. I don't think it was a lot of help, and it was much needed. So thank you everyone for helping us out, and it was and for everyone awesome. who's, who's asked about and us. Everyone, and... yeah sent their well wishes on Facebook and whatnot, it really meant a lot to us. And um, so through my radiation, obviously I was fatigued the entire time and um, I lost my sense of taste. I lost some hair, which in the big scheme of things is really no big deal when I get to stay alive after it. So that was a tough road for us and for our kids. And as you can see, my face is mostly working again. Um, my eye mostly closes, so we're happy with that. Yeah, it with mostly didn't close uh, after surgery, so. I was like a pirate. I, it, it, I had to wear an eye patch it because, yeah, I couldn't close yeah. my eye at all. But um, I'm back and I feel awesome and we are like full force with our business again, which is great for yeah. our bank account and our sanity. <laughs> <Right. really>. But <laughs> yeah, We pretty much spent the last month trying to... Catch up. Yeah, play we catch hadn't, up. We hadn't listed <laughs> anything on eBay since... September, which is crazy, but our sales actually stayed relatively stayed. steady. They stayed good. Um, but yeah, so that's where we've been the last few months, and we're back, and thank you all for your support through that, and we're excited to start our videos again, our haul videos and sale videos, and so I guess there's our current past, 
So let's episode. go back to episode one, episode which would one. be um, three years ago. Well, when, well, I don't. We started selling four years ago, well, very yeah, part time. But I started three years ago. And you're what matters the most. Exactly. <laughs> That's when we put our business together and we were able to do more with it. Yeah. And so um, February 12th, I get a phone call. Our son was in dance class. He was four years old at the time. I get a phone call from Tom saying, um, I left my job. I'm on my way home. And I was like, you mean you're gone for the day? And he's nope, like, nope. I'm I quit. Like forever. Peace. And I was standing there watching his dance class. So I had to like hold it together. And I was like, oh, that's great, honey. I'll, I'll see you at home. And like immediately drenched in sweat and like <laughs> panicking, but I had to hold it together. Um, so yeah, I get home that day and... He there was, were shelves that were waiting to be built for like, oh, five months or so. <laughs> Boom, they're up when she gets home. Because I just suddenly that day felt today's the day and we're going to do it. We're going to get this done. And so sort of what we learned is we had been talking about it for months before that saying we should just do this full time, both of us. And then we were just waiting for the right time to happen. And then we realized the right time is never going to happen. And there's always something you have to do. So... We had no money in our bank account and no real plan, and we sort of jumped and Leap built, of faith. built the parachute on the way down. And here we are three years later, and everyone thought we were crazy at the time, but... Um, oh, they thought we were more than crazy. Yeah, they thought we were <laughs> stupid. <laughs> our families were like, what are you thinking? Are, are you nuts? <laughs> yes, but without being crazy and trying something different, you can't get further ahead in life. Yeah. You have to try things. If you think you can do it, give it a shot. And we failed a lot of times. Oh, yeah. Like, there were a lot of times where we would go to bed, I'd go to bed, like, crying, saying, why, we are so stupid for having done this, and what are we doing, and go get a real job again, a, a real job, that's what yeah. we call, real that's job. what we call nine to five jobs, real jobs. We don't have a real job. Yeah. <laughs> and, and yeah, it was, it's kind of crazy to look back and think, how our business all started and it actually started on a whim too when I decided I was done going to college and I left school in the middle of class and so see there's a there's a theme here we just kind of we're irrational is that our theme well we just <laughs> quit we're like we feel something it's like I'm done and the business started when you left school and oh, then... well, it sort of started out of necessity well yeah because I needed to sell my textbooks because <laughs> we needed gas money at the time. And yeah, our business started actually with um, selling books on Amazon in 2010. Our whole garage was filled with books. We, we bought out an old bookstore um, in Grand Lake, Colorado, drove a U-Haul up there. In the snow. In the snow, loaded the entire U-Haul, crossed our fingers the entire way back down the mountain that the brakes wouldn't give on the U-Haul, and had books floor to ceiling in our garage for Months, months and months and, and that, yeah. yeah and so we've it's just crazy to think all the stuff that we've done in the last few years and I guess this video is mostly to say if you have a dream and even if people are telling you it's stupid or crazy and you believe in your dream you should go, go for, for it. it take take the leap of faith because you never know where you might end up and I get to wake up and work with my best friend and treasure hunt you're my best friend. Oh, that's you. That's me? <laughs> oh, you're my best friend too. <laughs> <laughs> and we get to treasure hunt all day long. And when our kids have activities at school, we get to go to them. And we've met a lot of really, really great people along the way, locally and through Facebook land. And it's it's been awesome it's, for us. It's and, been really good. And, and we have a lot of stuff in the works for the future. We're actually um, moving Yes. in about a month, which... It's another crazy thing we have to add to our schedule, but um, yeah, we're moving to our dream house, and it's now we have another cat making noise, <laughs> and it's all because we took the leap of faith, and he called me that February twelfth, telling me he left his job, and instead of having a panic attack, we made it work. Made and, it completely work. And it's been an awesome journey, and we're we're really excited to share the rest of our journey with everyone else. Hopefully it, I mean, who knows what it has in store. Yeah, Wait. and we don't even know, so uh, I guess we'll just see what happens and we'll uh, let you guys know as it's happening. 
And gosh, our next Hopefully in the next few days we'll have another haul video or sale yeah, video. It's... We've got we've gotten some really great things recently, so yeah. we're excited to share them with you. And yeah, thank you again for for bearing with us in our like four month absence from videos. And yeah, yeah. I guess that's I guess... that's our journey in like a really small nutshell. Really small nutshell. So I guess <laughs> if you have questions, hit us up on Facebook, YouTube, YouTube. Um, Telephonies, if you have our numbers, you know. <laughs> Telephonies. Just, uh, <laughs> once again, thank you for everything, all your support, and uh, we will see you next time.